targeted library preparation protocol consists of three steps, each followed by magnetic bead purification. The first step is a multiplex PCR reaction. In this video, we will show you step by step how to prepare the reaction mixture for the multiplex PCR reaction. To begin, take out the multiplex PCR mix from the box stored in the freezer and place it on ice or a cold rack. Thaw TE buffer and the multiplex PCR primers on benchtop at room temperature. Thaw DNA samples on a benchtop at room temperature and immediately place on ice or on cold rack once thawed. To assemble the multiplex PCR reaction mixture, combine nuclease-free water, multiplex PCR mix, multiplex PCR primers, and DNA samples on ice or cold rack. When working with multiple samples, a master mix without DNA samples can be first made to minimize pipetting and cross-contamination. Each pool of multiplex PCR primers requires an individual multiplex PCR reaction per sample. For a single pool panel, such as the CleanPlex OncoZoom panel, one multiplex PCR reaction is required for each sample. To assemble the multiplex PCR reaction mixture for a single pool panel, first add an appropriate amount of nuclease-free water to each new PCR tube. Next. Vortex to mix and quickly spin down the multiplex PCR mix before adding to the PCR tubes. Add 2 microliters of multiplex PCR mix into each PCR tube. As the multiplex PCR mix is viscous, ensure accurate dispensing of the reagent by pipetting slowly and rinsing the tips in solution as needed. Vortex to mix and quickly spin down the multiplex PCR primers before adding to the PCR tubes. Make sure the multiplex PCR primers are fully thawed out. Add 2 microliters of multiplex PCR primers into each PCR tube. Again, pipette slowly and rinse tips in solution as needed to ensure accurate dispensing. Finally, vortex and quickly spin down the DNA samples. Measure DNA concentration with a Qubit DSDNA high sensitivity assay kit. Add appropriate amount of DNA directly to the solution at the bottom of each tube. The total volume of the mixture should be 10 microliters in each tube. Mix the reaction thoroughly, either by vortexing or pipette mixing. It's critical to ensure that the reaction mixture is homogeneous prior to PCR. Quickly spin down the mixture to collect at the bottom of the tubes. The reaction mixture is now ready. Proceed immediately to running the multiplex PCR reaction. We will end this video by providing some reminders for CleanPlex NGS panels containing multiple pools of primers. For a two-pool panel such as the CleanPlex TP53 panel, two separate multiplex PCR reactions are required for each sample. One reaction for each pool of the multiplex PCR primers. The full input DNA amount is added to both reactions. This means that a two-pool panel requires two times the total amount of input DNA as a single-pool panel.